everyone and welcome to my channel and if you are watching me for the first time i am pallavi and i make videos on fashion lifestyle beauty diy ideas and many more so rakhi is coming so i am thinking of getting my brother with my touch of love so are you guys interested so are you guys interested to know how then keep watching So in the first DIY to make rakhi we need some cotton buds cut it into half or approximate to your size and some circle cutouts So here exactly what I have done is I have taken the cotton buds and painted it into red and yellow colors uh, which we are going to place it alternate alternatively So here I am preparing a proper base for the making of rakhi. I'm applying some glue on the circular part so that we can stick the cotton buds to it. The arrangement of the cotton buds is totally up to you. I chose here to be in this way. So here I am choosing how many exact number of red and yellow buds we are going to need for the DIY and uh, I'm just trying to arrange it according to their dimensions So here I chose the red ones to be in the plus sign and yellow ones to form an into sign so that uh, they get properly placed equally placed to one another Now this is how it looks after this. Now what we are going to do next is the remaining space between the yellow and the red buds. We are going to place it with small buds of yellow and red colors so that uh, there is a proper distance between them. Also remember that try to stick the buds as close to one another. There should not be any space left between them because the empty space will make the rakhi look uh, not that appealing. So I'm just struggling to um, keep a very less distance between the two buds here. So yes, that is done now and. Now what we are going to do next is the middle part of the rakhi which is looking very clustered we are going to cover that part with a small circular chart paper cut out or you can stick a cardboard over there so that that middle part is not that seen and that middle part we will be decorating with with some decorative materials So here I had these thermocol balls which looks like modis. If you have modis at your homes that is the best thing but I managed to decorate it with these thermocol balls as I did not had any. So yes I applied it to the middle part of the rakhi and this is how it looks after sticking it on that circular part and our rakhi is done now. We'll just try a thin ribbon on the back and yes that is done our first diy rakhi is ready now in the second diy we are going to need some card some wool and the scissor now here we are using the card for rolling up the wool around it 
to a specific thickness and then afterwards we'll remove that wool from the card and tie it using a small quantity of thread in the middle of the wool just try to do it in the same way i hope you all are getting it just rolling it around the card and then after you get a specific thickness remove it from the card and tie it with a small thread in the middle Now this is the exact same way how the pom poms are made but the only difference between the pom poms and this is this is a slightly of a bigger size for the pom poms we use generally two fingers length and uh, the same way we are we have to follow here too Now after you finish tying it from the center the both the ends cut it with the scissor so that it will appear like an open end on the corners Now here I am just trying to cut the extra ones uh, so that it just looks uh, a very circular in shape So yes this is done now looks pretty circular now isn't it so here i am gluing a circular cut out in the lower as well as in the upper part of the rakhi so that we can attach the string on the down side whereas we can attach some cut out designs on the top of the rakhi Now I had this floral cut out design which I thought of putting it in the center. Now this is not compulsory. You can add whatever of your choice. If you have some zari or if you have some designs from your old sarees and dupattas, you can just cut those out in beautiful designs and you can add it to the center that will also look equally beautiful. So yes this comes to an end of the second DIY rakhi now this rakhi can also be made with the satin um, threads which we get in the market so instead of wool you can use the satin threads and make the rakhi out of it now in the third DIY what we are going to do is we are going to repeat the same um thing which we did in the second DIY we'll make two circle uh, circles the pink and the white ones and then we will overlap the white with the pink this is how we have to overlap it looks pretty much similar like a flower now in the center part what we can do is we, i had certain i had the same thermocol balls so what i thought of decorating was i used the same thermocol balls to decorate this rakhi too you can put the designs you can put zari work you can put uh, motifs you can put any decorative thing whatever you have at your home you could de decorate the middle part using that thing and your yaraki is done then Now attach satin ribbons to the lower side and then put the rakhi on that and then your rakhi is done this is how the third DIY rakhi looks like isn't it beautiful Now in the fourth DIY we are going to need some chart papers colorful chart papers and you can take a small part of chart paper and make a fan out of it like how we used to do it in lower classes make a fan like this so we are going to need such small four fans so this is one fan which i made the same way you are going to make three more fans like this and we are going to attach it all to make a circle
so now this is how it looks after we attach all the four fans together and this one again I had this sunflower cut out with me so I just placed the sunflower on the top of the fan and that's it guys now in this last DIY we will need a needle some thermocol balls I use the thermocol balls you can use the small motis or uh, small motis for that so what I'm doing here is I'm just trying to sew the motis now I'm just trying to sew the thermocol balls with the pom-poms now the pom-poms I made of certain colors purple and white you can choose whichever color you want I chose it to be purple and white so I'm just trying to sew the purple and white pom-poms with properly placing the thermocol balls between them so that it looks more beautiful and then I'm just placing it into a proper distance and our last trackie is done then so guys isn't it beautiful yet so simple to make right and guys not to forget that I used the normal sewing thread but you can use a thick thread uh, so that your rakhi will be more sustainable so yes guys this is how our last rakhi looks like it looks very simple and very beautiful so uh, this was all the five DIYs which I shared with you if you like my Rakhi DIYs do like it do hit the like button and also share with your friends so that they can also make Rakhi at home and don't forget and not to forget to subscribe to my channel for more such beautiful DIYs coming soon so stay tuned for that